Latin creations. Hello friends, welcome to another video of Latin creations. My name is Kamendu. So today in this short video, I am going to discuss with you how to identify another lactose fermenting coliform bacteria in laboratory. So let me discuss about Citrobacter species identification. The genus Citrobacter is biochemically and serologically similar to those of Salmonella but does not cause enteric fever. They are common in flora of the intestinal tract and cause opportunistic infections such as urinary tract infections, pneumonia and intra-abdominal abscesses. However, many cases of Citrobacter frondii is reported with its association of neonatal meningitis and brain abscesses. Well, let's discuss how to identify the Citrobacter bacteria at laboratory. When we consider colony morphology on Citrobacter, the Citrobacter species readily grown laboratory media. Colonies are grey, smooth and moist on blood agar. But on Macongi agar, it gives lactose fermenting pink colonies. Colonies with greenish metallic sheen can be seen on eosine methylene blue agar. If we culture this one on Salmonella shigella agar or deoxycholate citrate agar, it gives black centered colonies with clear periphery due to its hydrogen sulfide production. After observing the colony morphology, we can perform the gram stain. Citrobacter cells are gram negative rods arranged in single, in pairs, or in short chains with rounded edges. Similar to other lactose fermenting coliform, Citrobacter is also oxidase negative. Also, it is catalase positive. If the module test is performed, it is motile due to it is flagella. One of the important tests for coliform is Kligger and Agar test KIA or TSI Agar test. Here, we can classify them based on their sugar fermentation, hydrogen sulfide production, and grass production. In this test, Citrobacter give AA pattern with positive gas and hydrogen sulfide production. Since they slowly hydrolyze urea, the urea test is positive, MR test positive, BP test negative, Simon Citrobacter test positive. These common laboratory tests are sufficient for identification of Citrobacter from samples along with the clinical and epidemiological history. However, we can use some other biochemical results as well. As an example, Citrobacter species produce acid and gas from esculin, glucose, galactose, inositol, sucrose, etc. And remember, since some strains of Citrobacter resemble Salmonella, they can cause agglutination of Salmonella polyvalent sera, which can be lead to misidentification. Well, friends, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and gain knowledge about how to identify this Citrobacter species in your laboratory. Now you can find this video script from our website www.analyticreations.com. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and hit bell icon to update with more medical laboratory science and medical related videos like this. Thank you.